Today we'll be creating this fun fantasy comic style lo-fi painting with watercolour. So let's get into it. As for materials, we'll be using some cotton watercolour paper in A3 sizing, a 12 piece watercolour paint set, an oval plastic palette with wells, a grey fine liner marker, a 6B pencil, a 2B pencil, a mop brush and a fine round brush. The first step is to print out the outline image that you can find on our website and shade the back side of it with a 6B graphite pencil. We have printed this project out to A3 but it would also work as an A4 as well. Flip the sheet over, place it shaded side down, tape it to a sheet of cotton watercolour paper and retrace the line work with a sharp 2H graphite pencil. Once this line work is in, we redraw in that line work with a grey fine tip marker. At this stage we can add any extra detail if we want to. We are using the 12 piece watercolour paint set. So I squeeze out each colour into the well of the palette. It's a good idea to fasten the paper to either a board or in this case directly to the table. You can use masking tape for this. First a cream is created from a touch of umber and lemon yellow and is painted over the areas where the clouds will lie. While this is still wet the edges are patted with a dry paper towel to lighten the tone and then this coat is allowed to dry. Create a very light blue from Prussian blue with lots of water and paint this mix into the base of each cloud bank. Blend it out to nothing as you move across the page. For the vegetation in our painting I create a green from sap green and lemon yellow and paint this over the leaves, the trees in the foreground and any areas of foliage. We need to add some darker greens over the top of this first green coat once it's dry at a later stage. But while it's drying we can mix up a red oxide from burnt sienna and cadmium red pale and paint this into the cliffs in the middle ground. We then paint lemon yellow, cadmium red pale and sienna into the foreground and into the hills in the middle ground. We can then create a slightly darker green from sap green and Prussian blue and lay it over the vegetation leaving the underlying colour visible on the edge of some areas to suggest highlights. Apply this mix into the leaves on the underside of the tree to create shadow. Paint burnt sienna into the large tree and then lay umber into the foreground. Lay burnt umber into the large tree and then into the middle ground leaving the underlying colour to show through for those highlight areas.
While the brown is drying, add more Prussian blue to the green mix and add it into the darkest areas of the foliage to suggest shadow. Paint the path with yellow ochre and lay it into the parapets in the middle ground to tie the colour in. Lay red into the flowers over the tree. The scene is mostly finished and we can now switch our attention to the building. The first step is to create a very light cream wash from lemon yellow and a touch of black and lay it over the entire building. Let this dry, then create an orange from lemon yellow, cadmium red pale and burnt sienna and paint it over the roofs. Next paint burnt umber into the beams. We can finally paint Viking Goat. The colours you use for him are optional. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this fun little project. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time.